Hello and welcome to another purveyor of light Photoshop quick tip. Uh, today we're going to show you how to create the dragon effect. Uh, this is a pretty famous effect. Uh, it's a uh, little on the gritty side of uh, photography. Uh, it was designed by a, a Polish uh, physicist uh, or a physics teacher, sorry, uh, in Poland. And uh, he uh, had a reputation of making compelling, surreal uh, portraits in that, uh, using extremely high contrast and saturation and really putting the, the emphasis on details, almost to the point where you could say it has a touch of HDR to it. Um, but, uh, so we're going to show you how to do that. There's, like anything else with Photoshop, there's multiple ways to, to do the same thing, to get the effect. This is just my way of doing it doesn't mean it's the right way to do it or the only way to do it okay so first thing i'm going to do is i am going to throw this whole thing away and start from scratch so I'll take all the layers and throw it in the trash and this is our beginning image that we're going to be starting with okay and uh so we're going to go and when you, and when you do this so yourself at home uh try to pick out a photo portrait of someone of maturity uh someone that has some experience lines in the face you know character lines and that uh, definitely don't want to do this to a lady or a woman uh it's not flattering but for the you know an old man a mature man with some uh experience lines in his face uh, that works very well with this type of effect okay so it's really easy to do so I'm going to spend more time explaining it than actually doing it. All right, so we're going to start out with the image. We're going to do a duplicate of this image layer here. A command and control J. And that puts up a second layer in there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to desaturate all the color out of this. And we'll just go up to uh, the menu on the top. And we'll go to image. And then we'll go adjustments. And then we will go desaturate. Okay, and that just takes all the color out of the image. And now we're basically with a black and white image. Okay. And so now that we have this desaturated, I want to make a duplicate of this image layer. So I'm going to command and control J. And now we have two black and white images. All right. Now, I want to turn around for safety because we have to use some filters. I want to go ahead and make this a smart object. So right click on that and uh, convert to smart object. Okay, so now we have that. And this way, anything we do, we can come back in and make adjustments if we have to change things. So I'm going to come up to, uh, I'm going to change the blend mode on this to a vivid light. And it's already looking crazy, right? So. We'll go with that and now we're going to go up the filter and then other and then high bypass and the amount you do is going to be entirely up to you uh and your image you'll have to go in and decide how much to do or how little to do how strong of an effect you want okay because it's a very strong strong effect uh, and depending on what you're going for. So I'm going for a very strong effect myself. So I'm going to go with 56 pixels on this one and uh, hit OK. And now I'm going to take the top two layers and I'm going to put them into a group. So take the top layer and then the next layer down. And then I'm going to put it, hit the folder icon down here to put it in a group. So now I have it in a group, and you'll notice the blend mode is pass through. Okay, we want to change the uh, blend mode of the group, okay, to overlay. So come down, and we'll do overlay. And you see how we're building this effect really nicely on it? Now, the last thing is totally optional on it. If you're not happy with the way it turned out, you can do an adjustment like a levels adjustment layer and put that right on top. And then just using your middle slider, okay, the gamma slider, you can come in and slide it left if you want to make it lighter or to the right if you want to bring more darkness into it, put more detail into it. 
Uh, it's entirely up to you how you want the effect. Okay. Once you have that, you have a finished dragon effect image. And it's quite good. Okay. It's actually really nice. Uh, a nice structure. If you really look at it, the detail that it brings into the portrait uh, makes it a very interesting portrait. Uh, these, this is a portrait that if you saw on the wall, you would instantly be stopped to look at the detail and because it stands out, uh, as unique and distinctive. So I think it's a really cool effect. I think it's something to go in and, you know, mess around with for yourself. And, uh, so I'm going to leave this right here for you. And uh, until next week, you guys take care.